Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample back at SunTrust Park in Atlanta for my second game on this trip. Now the first game, the Dodgers were here, it was a Saturday night, and this place was sold out. That entire four game series was sold out. Now it's a Monday night, the Miami Marlins are in town, so it should be much more laid back tonight. We'll see how that affects my numbers. As always, just looking forward to getting in there, running around during batting practice, hopefully catching a bunch of baseballs, and we'll see what else happens from there. This place is gorgeous, the newest stadium in Major League Baseball. Really glad to be here. Here we go. Here we go inside the stadium. Nice relaxed vibe today with live organ music. Unfortunately, the Braves had finished taking batting practice by the time the gates had opened, but the Marlins started up soon after. I got things started out in left field. There were a bunch of righties in the first group. It gets kind of crowded out there from the start because the chop house is completely closed off in the outdoor portion unless you specifically have seats there. So everybody in the stadium pretty much has to cluster up in left field. I did get one home run out there which was rattling around the seats and then I headed out to right because there was a powerful lefty in the second group for the Marlins. Now I started inside the chop house, behind the glass doors, which is not ideal, but my strategy was to poke my head out and start running in that back walkway in case he launched one. Now I saw that guy hit several balls up above me to the patio on top of the chop house, so I headed up there late in the group, but unfortunately he didn't deliver after that. Then I noticed that Justin Boer was going to bat in the Marlins' final group, so I've remained up here on this patio. Really cool spot, all kinds of space to spread out. I've never been up here for batting practice before, and if you want to look over in this direction, I mean, there's nobody up here, but it does take a really long home run to reach this spot, but Boer can do it. After all that anticipation, it was not Justin Boer that reached the patio. My guess is that it was JT Riddle who connected at the end of BP and sent one all the way up here to the space above the chop house. Nice easy backhanded catch over the railing, that one really felt great. And you know what, even though I only got two baseballs today, catching that one way far back from home plate after using some strategy, that really feels awesome. So for me, sometimes it's less about the numbers and more about how I get them. Checking out the Braves Monument Garden located in the concourse directly behind home plate. And it is a seriously impressive area with so many artifacts paying tribute to the rich history of this franchise, which actually started back in Boston more than a century ago. You have jerseys throughout the years, including one from 1935 when Babe Ruth was on the team. That was Babe Ruth's final season in the majors when he hit six home runs, including the famous number 714. He got all kinds of awards on display, a big tribute to Hank Aaron, a statue and a display of bats front and center, 755 career home runs, asterisk free. World Series trophy from 95, some World Series rings as well. If you're a Braves fan, or really just a baseball baseball fan in general, you gotta come here and check out this area. And by the way, I gotta give a shout out to this guy, my buddy David Welch, fellow ball hawk with approximately 1,800 career baseball snagged at Major League Stadiums, most of which were where? Turner Field? Yeah, most of them at Turner Field, probably you know, 1,600 of them at least. That so, place was so much better than SunTrust, right? It's probably the best one that I've ever been to in the MLB at all. So Turner Field, you averaged how many per game with BP? Uh, it was probably between eight to nine a game. So And here? Three, four. I'm telling you, I mean, the guy has the same skills as he did a couple years ago, but the stadium itself can make such a difference. Anyway, good to see you, and again, definitely come check out this spot. Chipper Jones with number 10, and Daddy with number 10 at a, a ranch in Texas called Double Dine. It was on 10,000 acres. It's in the state of Texas. Texas is the 28th state. Eight and two is 10. <laughs> And his birthday is April the 24th, 4 and 4 is 8, 2 is 10. Wow. All right, I am here with Walter Banks, a legendary employee of the Braves. How many seasons working for the Braves is this? This is my 53rd season. 
The wow. first event was April the 9th, 1965, an exhibition game between the Detroit Tigers and the Milwaukee Braves. In that game, Tommy Aaron, Hank's brother, hit the first home run in that stadium. Now, was that Fulton County Stadium? No, it wasn't Fulton County. It was Atlanta Stadium. They called it Atlanta Stadium up until 1976, and that's the year that Ted Turner bought the Braves. 1976. And then it became Fulton County. Right. So you were there, Turner Field, SunTrust, so three different stadiums. Exactly. And we're going on a special tour right now. I am so excited. So thank you for doing this. Thank you. And, and, and the Braves was the first stadium to have four players. They hit back to back to back to back home runs. Frank Thomas. Hank Aaron, Eddie Matthews, and Joe Atkoff. That was the first time they'd ever had. This is Steve Avery right here. He started four years in a row. He started 35 games. Anybody to know his name? His name is Sailor Jack. What's the dog's name? The dog's name is Bingo. And I think they started Cracker Jacks in Germany around 18 maybe 86, and they've sold enough Cracker Jacks to go back to back around the world over 63 times. One of the best products ever been made. You don't have to cook it, don't have to warm it. Stale popcorn, a few little bit of fries. Wow, what an unbelievable experience provided to me here today at SunTrust Park by Walter Banks, a true gentleman and legend who's been working with the Braves for more than half a century. And I had no idea this was going to happen. Didn't even know about him, didn't know I was going to meet him, but then he took me all over the place, showed me the entire inside of the Delta 360 Club, and even took me down a level below that to the super exclusive SunTrust Club. And he gave a history lesson every step of the way, pointing out artwork of various players and photographs from the last 50, 75 years, sprinkling facts and figures and all kinds of stats. The guy is like a walking encyclopedia and such a nice guy. And evidently, him giving tours is a thing. So if you see him, at the very least, go say hello to him and shake his hand. But you can also ask him to show you around. And if he's got some time, he'll do it. Now for right now, it is the fourth inning. This is the first time I've even had a look at the field because I've been so busy wandering everywhere. The Braves are on top four to two and I am starving. And there's a very impressive spread of food inside the Delta 360 Club. So I'm gonna go back in there and let's check it out together. A little bit of that, just a small scoop. Yep, that's perfect. As you can see, this place is all you can eat. Rows and rows of food, unbelievable setup, so many things to choose from. Now people ask me all the time what stadium in Major League Baseball has the best food, and I think that the Delta Club here at SunTrust Park might be in the running for sure. So you can see what I got here. I didn't just double down or triple down, I've quadrupled down with four plates of food. There's pizza and mac and cheese, there's pulled pork sliders and fried plantains, there's chicken wings, there's hummus, salami and cheese, and a whole dessert plate as well. Now I think I am gonna have to share some of this food with my videographer or else I might actually die. It's a final here in Atlanta. The Braves beat the Marlins by the score of five to three. And there were three home runs hit in the game tonight. And I'm a little bit ashamed to admit that I did not see any of them because I was so busy wandering around, checking out the Delta Club, getting a free history lesson, and eating a ton of food. Extra thanks to Walter Banks for hooking it up. And you know what? Check the description for this video. There have been articles about him, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna throw a link or two there so you can read up and learn more about this guy. Now as for me, not a huge numbers day. I only got two baseballs during BP, both home runs hit by the Marlins, one in left field and one in right, which I caught on the fly above the chop house. That was super fun. It brings my lifetime baseball total to 10,506. So that pretty much wraps things up. Two games here in Atlanta. Tomorrow I'm waking up early, flying to Tampa for a couple of games there. 
didn't think I'd be back this season, but hey, my schedule is always changing. So look for those videos, and thanks for watching this one.